morning guys and happy Valentine's Day Ooh. on 14th of February 2023 oh, lovely so this is part two of light viewing video uh, footage so it's a lovely swimming light viewing this morning. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. The sea's around seven degrees and the light is so wonderful, beautiful red orange sun <sighs> and quite peaceful. The sky oh and the moon so hey guys how are you doing uh, are you doing some this connecting with the light with your internal light filling your light inside with a coherent and completely balanced harmonious light of the infinite light oh, that's that's what I find is the most the most important thing to to actually connect with this light physically not just from your windows in your room or your flat or your house but actually <coughs> to get out and look into the light and connect with these light photons this quantum field of infinite light I find this is a miraculous stuff it's a miraculous stuff for our health well-being for balance and harmony of our life and uh, you know love today is the Valentine's Day the day of love and I actually feel that this coherent, infinite, balanced, harmonious light of life, of the sunlight, is equal to love, and love is equal to this light. So, the more we let this infinite, unified, beautiful, harmonious, balanced light in our light, in our life, in our being, it's as if we are letting light and love inside us you know I was telling I will make some meditation uh, to fill all our energy centers with this light all our seven eight energy centers fill with this beautiful light harmonious coherent energy of light because that's what we need to heal and actually I didn't mention last time I feel that this type of light once we embark on this aspect of journey of of light this goes beyond all your traumas all your past unpleasant experiences anything in your life whatever has happened can be erased with this type of light the more we take in this light this can be a magical quantum leap of completely erasing all the unpleasantness all the unpleasant experiences and lack of experience of love when we were born you know most people approximately 95 percent or even probably more of people on this planet experience not being loved when we take the birth and that's not because of your mom didn't love you or your dad didn't love you but it's because of all kinds of circumstances in the country you know even there in the turkey after this during this earthquake there were children who were born 
under the rubble you know what type of experience they will have as an imprint for their whole life but I, I feel that whatever no matter what has happened in our life completely it could be very very dramatic experiences and events but I feel that this type of coherent light which as I mentioned is equal to love can erase any dark records inside our being I feel already for myself this is like a liberating experience it's like Phoenix rising out of the ashes and becoming the light and flying beautifully so my dear friends yes so this is the second the second part of our beautiful light program and so if you can jump into the sea in the cold sea warm sea but this is this is real life this is this is wonderful and we can do it every day and even if there are clouds wherever you are living you know by the sea i understand that by the sea there is more intrinsically unique shades and variations of light of sunlight uh, i know someone who lives in switzerland good friend of mine she says that in Switzerland, in the mountains, there isn't that much of this amazing uh, light from the sun, which is by the sea. But I think it's everywhere is amazingly, amazingly unique light, whether it's Switzerland or Panama or Canada or inland or Siberia or Slovakia or Slovenia, wherever you are, I think light is unique and light is amazing because it is love love is unique and amazing anywhere wherever you are even if you are on the moon it will be amazing because it is love it is the essence of our life without love nothing grows nothing everything just dies and wilts so that's why we need to express ourselves and immerse our being in this amazing light of love of this infinite field of love the energy the supreme the supreme light so let's do it let's do it more and it's so beautiful the life just becomes so beautiful and i find the darkness at night is so intrinsically beautiful as well I sleep more because I, I find there is nothing for me to do anymore at night you know when you want to keep this darkness time uh, for darkness and I have wonderful sleep I have much longer sleep now and I don't want to sleep during the day because I have this loss of energy from this light now light equals love all right ch ch chaps i don't know how long i've been now 10 minutes already in this water i don't know what's the uh, the temperature is 6.8 degrees so i probably head now for my breakfast Ooh, nice cup of coffee on this lovely Valentine's Day. And so I hope you also have a lovely day and bathe in the light of love, bathe in this sunlight, sun love, sun love
and your life will be beautiful, really beautiful. All your heart will be filled with this love. And you will know what to do, when to do. Follow your heart. That's the main thing, my friends. Follow your heart. Don't follow your brain. Use your brain, but follow your heart. You will always be right, your decisions will be right, and you'll be your tuning fork will be emanating this love and you will be receiving you will be receiving love in your life every single moment because whatever we whatever we <clears throat> give out comes back <sighs> this is lovely this is lovely <sighs> alright chaps take care and let's have some silence now. Love. Love you all. Love the whole world.